<laughs> no, it's actually um, there. We go. Oh my god! So I made it. That was the main thing. Julian, op so open, like, open yeah. the camera again. Open the camera. <laughs> Hang on, it's gone off a sec. It's gone wonky. Two secs. Okay. Where did she go? Reception, maybe. <laughs> it's gone wonky. <laughs> Hi to everyone. <laughs> and welcome to the new members. I see some new faces. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Oh, I feel Hi. like I haven't seen anyone for ages. Hi, Sheena. God, I've been missing for so long. Plus, I haven't been able to... It's very hard to get on because it's five o'clock. It's supper time here. Mm. It's my bedtime, but okay. <laughs> Let me pause the recording for now the camera with to make it steady but for some reason it's uh it's not working properly so but anyway here we are how is everyone good can you hear me yes loud yes. and clear we're good it's uh it's a little bit cold <laughs> it's a little bit windy but it's uh it's very worth it so i'm at the top of the tour you can see the the moon coming up here and then you've got I don't know, there's probably about 300 people up here. So there's the tour. You can hear the drums? Yep. So I'm going to yeah, stand up a drum. second. I'm going to have to go freehand because my bloody thing's not working, but there we go. <laughs> so you can see, if you go the other side of the tour, that's where I live. Right the other side over there. So this is where you can see from my house. But if you look, you've got the red sky of the sunset. And there's all Glastonbury, it's just flat. You can see why they used to call it the Isle of Avalon. Because the ground is so flat around it. Glastonbury and the Isle was actually surrounded by water. And just over there, we can see the lights, is where Joseph of Arimathea got off his boat and went up Weary All Hill, planted his staff, and that's where the, the thorn of Glastonbury came from. And it flowers twice a year, Easter and Christmas. Work that one out. And then you've got all people dancing. All enjoying themselves. And then over this side, everybody's watching the moon. Oh, so, oh, there's a dog. <laughs> Whose dog that is? Could be anyone's mind. There's loads of it. Seem to have lost my wife as well. Look. Which is interesting. Can you see that? Can you see that? So I'm just going to sit by here. And in the energy that we've got here this evening, I'm going to sort of layish downish, is we're going to uh, do a little bit of a full moon meditation. And the full moon is always good because it's a time to be grateful and thankful for everything that we've got. I can assure you, when I was halfway up the tour, I was neither grateful or thankful, apart from oxygen, because I couldn't breathe. It's, so, <laughs> it's uh, When you come here, it's uh, actually, it was a lot better today because I've been in the gym for the last month and a half. So it felt a lot better getting up here. Yeah? So uh, that was good. Look at all the people dancing. Up. This is Glastonbury at, at, at its finest. Lots of people obviously know Glastonbury for the music festival. 
and I was with a gentleman who runs that today, a gentleman called Michael Ives. I was over in Yeovil before I came here, which was uh, which was nice as well. So I'm mixing everything as best I can. Balance. Remember what we said? Balance your life with your spiritual side, your spiritual side with your life, and and you get magic moments like this. And that sun, that's the sun, the moon now is just giving off this beautiful hue, this wonderful glow. So we're going to do a bit of a full moon meditation. So at this point, I normally knock my camera off, but for obvious reasons, I'm not going to do that this evening. But if you want to knock your camera off, you can. I can't see you anyway, but it's just a case of you sitting back, closing your eyes. And hopefully you can hear the sights and sounds that have gone on around me. And that's just the energy of the place here today. So just enjoy that energy. As you close your eyes and you take a deep breath in. Hold it for a second and then breathe out. Take another deep breath in, hold it for a second and then just breathe out. And then just follow your own natural breathing rhythm. But as you do, instead of looking or feeling for the energy, just allow this energy to wash over you. And you're allowing a non-meditative state to become meditative because it's normally noise or sounds or things that bring you out. But tonight I want you to do the opposite. I want you to allow you to take you in. So a very sort of shamanic, if you like, meditation where you're going to be following the sights and sounds and just allowing the energy just to take you deeper and deeper. Following your natural breath. And I want us to be grateful and thankful for every breath that we take in and every breath that we let out. Just be grateful for everybody who's in our lives. Just bring together, bring to mind some people who you'd like to be grateful for. Just bring them to your mind and in your own mind's eye, just say thank you. I'm grateful for everything that you do for me. And for the love that you show. And I'd like you to be grateful for any of your pets, any of your animals that have brought unconditional love and joy into your life. Just breathe in and say thank you. And breathe out and allow that unconditional love just to flow. And then just bring to mind the little things in your life, the things that make you happy, the things that make you smile, the things that want to make you get up in the morning. Just say thank you, breathing in, breathing out. Now in your mind's eye, I want you to be here, right here on the tour. Being in this sacred space, sitting here, listening to the sights and the sounds. Drinking in this wonderful spiritual energy. But in doing so, I'd like you to call upon your moon guide. I'm going to ask them now to come close and sit with you in this wonderful space. Are your moon guides you may never have seen before, you never felt before. You may see them, feel them, hear them, whatever it is. Just allow them to be with you as you sit with them and us on the tour, enjoying the energy. I'm going to leave you here for a few moments just to journey, travel. But it's all underpinned by you being extremely grateful for everything that we have in our lives. Being grateful for this very beautiful and spiritual moment. Enjoy the energy for a few moments.
journey on the rhythm of the drum. flow with that energy. Journey on the energy of the full moon. In your healing guides, ask them to draw close and use the energy of the sacred space, this sacred mount, to help heal your mind, your body, and your soul. Set in the abundance of this amazing energy. Healing and replenishing. Getting you ready for the next lunar cycle. You're being present and in this moment. Sense yourself. Ground yourself. Thank <laughs> you. 
Eternally grateful for everything we have, everything we hold. Sitting in the wonderment of our lives and our journeys, allowing us to be ourselves. And setting the intention of each and every one of you, one day, laying on this mountain for a full moon and enjoying this amazing experience. And you're ready to slowly come back, take a deep breath in, open your eyes. And let me know how you feel. I think I can only um, I can only see people as they speak. I think for some reason I don't seem to be able to see you all as I normally would do. We are just speed, speechless with everything we see now. <laughs> so, how was it? Did you enjoy that? Very that nice. was so cool. I felt like I was right there with you. Enjoy it. Yes, that was awesome. And I love this idea of sharing these wonderful ah, spiritual places what with I everybody. <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. Thank you for sharing that. If you Much live. Needed. Thank you. I love this day and age. It's a pleasure. And I think, I think personally, Yeah, you can share your spiritual spaces. This is what this community is about. It's about us being together and sharing things and enjoying different parts of our lives, but bringing it all together as a as a collective, as a community, you know, and, and that's important. You should have seen how fast I was going through the roads to try and get you before the moon got up. Because <laughs> well, everything just sort of dragged today. I'm like, I've got to go, i got to go, i got to go. Hurry up, i got to go. But... I managed it and uh, we got there. So, uh, so I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoyed it. But this is, you see, it's important to me for, for you to be able to share this because 
what I want, what I want really is the people to feel and experience things. And that's not gimmicky. That's not this. That's not that. That's not tricks. That's not, this is about, you know, when you actually get into, I don't know, the breath, if you like, the, the, the rhythm, the, the feeling it's, it's more than, I'm not trying to down cry sort of mediumship or whatever. It's not just that it's more than that. It's, it's, it's an experience. It's, it's life changing. And just, you know, when you sit here and you feel everything that's going on, there's more to this than any of us know. And, and it's that feeling and that understanding without needing to question it, without needing to poke it or just be with it. You know, I said, um, I think on Monday, when Mindfulness Monday, when we were talking about Oracle cards and things, you know, I used to really worry about shuffling the pack and getting it right. And if any cards, why do we worry about all that? Just go with it. If, if I dropped every single card on the floor, then I was meant to drop every single card on the floor. You know, it, it, it is what it is. And, and, you know, just sharing these experiences and feeling the things that you feel. Even if you only, you know, people say, oh, I didn't, I only saw a colour. You know, I only, that's amazing. Go with it. Enjoy it you know and build on it and have that experience of seeing that color that you hadn't experienced before and and that's how we grow and and you know it's taken me sort of how many years wow many years to sort of get in that zone and go but don't don't get me wrong there's days when i wake up and think oh what's all this about because <laughs> we're human we have that we have that humanness about us and that's and that's important as well because we are here to have a human experience as much as we are a spiritual one and um practice do do your bits do your meditation find your little niche your mediumship your cards your tarot your trance your healing yeah whatever it is and and enjoy it don't put pressure on yourself because um you know that's the key thing is to enjoy this journey as much as we can and uh, and and again under the full moon be grateful for everything we've got so i'm going to try now because my gimbal's still broke but i'm just going to walk a bit my name is going to say it's, I, I can hear i think but look at that look how beautiful that is hang on let me turn it around look, look at that so you can't see it but that red sky is where i live miles away that, that's how that's how these weird things happen how can you drive an hour and 40 minutes from your house to a place that you can see from your garden doesn't make sense on any level it shouldn't work but it does <laughs> and i didn't know for 18 years of my life that i could see this from my back garden i can see this building from my back garden it's just amazing so you've all got to set the intention of one day climbing this and being here and sharing the moments with people it was funny there's a black dog there i was laying on the grass meditating he licked my face and then he jumped about 60 foot in the air um but yeah he was only showing his affection but it was funny so uh i hope you all enjoyed it and um and it's special and thank you thank you for uh, thank you for being here thank you for being you thank you for everything that you do i do appreciate it um, and i hope that we can continue to help each other and grow and and learn and develop and we're all students and uh, and just enjoy it smile and be grateful because that's what this moon's all about thank you How for sharing all this it's a perfect it's a perfect it's, it's a pleasure i can't see you chantel but it's nice to hear you see if i can walk around the other side Look at all the people. All people just sharing experiences. Just sat down by here. There's a lovely fire. It's nice and warm. Oh, you can smell the wood. It's amazing. Look. 
Maybe we should have a, a light and harmony community fire up here one day. That'd be amazing. Get as many as we can. That sounded like a South African accent then, Susan. Uh, Australian, sorry. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I'm going to try now and descend down and um, wish me luck because it's pitch black. <laughs> and if I make it down, I look forward to seeing you over the next couple of days. And, um, you know, if you can, because obviously I can't hear all of you and I can't see all of you this time. If you can go on the forums in here, and actually we could create a forum for, for this live event and just put on what you experienced. Just take five minutes to write down how you felt and what did it do for you and, and how much you enjoyed it. It'd be great for, for us to look back and, you know, and cherish these moments. Thank you. This is very nice. My pleasure. I think it would be awesome to be able to be there as a group in person. Yeah, well, let's try and aim for it. Let's manifest it. Let's say... I don't know, 2022. Next summer, June. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make it happen. There we go. Manifest it. Chuck the energy out there. Give it energy every day. It would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Big thank you for everyone that's on you. I don't know. Can't see anybody because it is the way in which it is. But... Um, Thank you for joining me. I'm going to try and go back down that mountain now. And um, God bless you all. Be love and give love. And be grateful for everything that we've got. Because I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you very much. See you all soon. Take care. Thank you, Alana. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Thank Naomi. you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. So, that was nice. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> that experiences. <laughs> it was. Ending the forums as well. Oh. Oh, wow. I love this day and age that we live in. I absolutely love it. I don't want anybody to ever tell me that this is a bad time. Because this is a fabulous time. It is. Darren? Hello, how are you? Did you came up now? <laughs> uh, no, I've been calling the bloody work. Okay, okay. Um, I was going to have tonight off because I'm going to go to the moon. You're breaking yeah. up. <laughs> You're breaking up. The moon. Can, you hear, uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me now? But you just missed Julian <laughs> yeah. and the moon. Yeah, no, I'm calling no, I know I need to, to be fair, but um, I literally could see the moon. The moon has only just come up now on the left-hand side of me, and it looks absolutely amazing. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I was hoping to go. I literally, I had the night off as well. I only had a, a phone call about an hour ago. Can you come to work? And I was like, oh, my God. So, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. See, it happens, as I say, yeah. <laughs> every time. Tell me about it. Well, I meant to go away for work for 24 days, so that's the reason why I was meant to have a couple of days off, but um, yeah, it never happens. That's you guys good though? Yeah, it was pure magic, pure love, pure everything. <laughs> good, good, good. It was amazing. Let me stop the recording. It's been a while since, since it's been a while since I've been online, to be fair. Yeah, very true. So busy. <laughs> I know.